Hello and welcome back to Breath Edge. And in the previous episode, we, uh... Oh. Explored this weird station, service station. And we have, well, quote-unquote, fixed the ship. So we can take off again. So let's head out. Let's be careful. It's a bit twitchy. And... Ooh. Anyway, let's start exploring and see what we can find. Because we need to find stuff. Can I stop moving? Doesn't seem like it. It's not like I What's can. What's that up ahead? I'm not mistaken, am I? Is it a fully functioning breath edge coffin with hands? We've already seen such coffins, but I doubted it until now. An automatic maintenance team. They can patch us up, but nothing more. We can't get them to completely repair the shuttle. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how we can fix. Repair in progress. All right, so we have a... Normandy is ready for more damage. <laughs> we have a, a health bar up on top. Question is, I don't even know what to call them. I'd like to note that your shooting skill is absolutely unimportant here. These weapons have a simplified artificial intelligence and self witnesses, and they simply adapt to the shooting. Still, I need to aim. All the calculation of the trait of where I need to aim is, is one thing, but... Level 2 calibration complete. Hitting targets becomes more effective, probably. what I'm supposed to do. I don't think I'm going... I'm supposed to do this. And if it's... Looks like this is the three in the line of battle. It was the only part that contained unique observation modules so don't blast. How the blast survived the disaster in this room. It would be nice to get inside, at least out of curiosity. Um... Sorry, it's a bit, uh, vomit comet here, but, um, they are slightly annoying for this. Great job. Coffins shouldn't attack people. That's nonsense. dancing around me a little bit too much for my taste and let's go and uh, repair because yikes that And 
we're done. Probably. So, where do I need to go? I think when I see stuff like that, I need to actually go for that, like, bot station, and then take care of um, the bots. What is that? And no boost. Sadly. See what this is over here once we get there. According to the number, this is one of the dome cooling modules. The extremely low temperatures overboard and the huge volumes of working fluids allowed the modules to maintain almost any temperature in the shell of the cores without unnecessary energy consumption. We could use something like this for the damaged core of Normandy. Hmm. An external docking airlock. You can get inside from here. Or rather, you could get inside if you could break all this ice. Um, is it over here? Yeah, it probably is. now there we go yeah so i can only stop navigating the ship when i dock which makes sense sort of So, uh, let's head out. I have no detailed information about the liner's cooling system in my database, but I'm sure you'll have to find something and break something. <laughs> yep, as everything else we've done with this. Find it, and then break it. I wonder if you can call icicles icicles in zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. Orbicles, for example. Or, uh, expandicles. Versticles. Pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. <laughs> Such a waste of computing power. <laughs> Alkali, electronics, Consume with right click. Bad 
trees. First aid kit. It looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. No. Neither did I. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here, and according to my data, there were many of them. Illegal plasma. I might want to go back to the ship and... Drop off a few things. Why can't this be a quick way through? Why do I have to go all the way around? Anyway, all the way around we go. Oh, it would be so easy to... ...not remember which way to go. I'm going. Yeah, technically speaking, yeah, I should be able to, might be possible once we get through to open up that shortcut maybe who knows who knows oh gravity module i suspect that is something important Legal plasma is probably going to be important. trauma to the head nothing interesting here why can I open that <laughs> anyway The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. Okay. Hmm. Aluminium. Uh, 
financial resources and stuff. This folder could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. <laughs> oh right. Didn't you see that? That's probably the way we need to go. Actually. Everything is blocked with ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through. I have no idea what it is or how it works. This is clearly not just simple steam, but something much colder. Although you could get under the dome from here. Um, yeah. Despite the damage, the nitrogen valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. Wonder, I wonder. I need to find one more refrigerator thing to scan. I don't think it's in here. I suspect it's going to be this way. Star Wars reference. If it is, it's um amazing. I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. Yeah, it's looks like I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems, even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie. I watched enough Star Wars to get that reference, but if it is actually that, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. But yeah, it's probably riddled, riddled with a lot of references on of TV shows and books and uh, all kinds of stuff, which I have just missed because I don't really do references that well. don't do it well when I'm doing them myself and I don't really necessarily get them when I get exposed to them so and a lot of times I've <laughs> that's the that's the annoying part if someone actually start explaining what sort of the movie or whatever it is about. Um, 
most out of time uh, most of the time i've actually like seen it or heard of it so it's not necessarily the case that i've glossed over it or never heard of it many times i've actually like seen the movie or stuff like like that so though if it's any, anything like that's i haven't watched any movie like new movies or anything most of the time it's just been anything that's like 10 years or or less than 10 years old i probably haven't seen it it was like 15 or more years old then i probably have seen it anyway what do i need to do i need to find the cooling system controller I now have a bit of free space in my suit, so let's go and find that controller. See if we can... ...get going. So to speak. It's in the it's in the um, busted room. Yeah, it is. It's up in a busted room. The roomy room. How to disable the flow of nitrogen. Whoops. Turn the A02 valve all the way to the right, then the three nitrogen reduction valves. Turn the B6 valve to the left at a 30 degree angle. Don't forget to depressurize the valve. Well, or like this. All right, time to check the dome. Ah, of course. The cooling system controller should be here somewhere. We're looking for some sort of a... Uh... Box? No. Probably a computer. Or a room. Or maybe a data block. Or a barrel with a button. I haven't fully studied what it should look like. I really wish I could... turn the HUD off. But I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. I really wish I could. But anyway. Wait a second. This mosaic. So that's why your relative's face seems so familiar to me. A brilliant engineer, one of the creators of the core, and the father of artificial intelligence. It's him! Amazing! Are you sure you're not adopted? According to some sketchy fragments of data, I assume that it might be the office of your grandpa and his team. Did you know that he was supposed to be on board the liner? Mm.
An employee pass is required. I wonder if a handy scrapper will do, or if you'll have to search the bodies. Well, let's do some searching then. The crew was killed shortly before the crash. They didn't even have anything to defend themselves with. I noticed that it's enough for a human to get one hit in any part of the body to die, whereas coffins only die when certain points on the head and stomach are damaged. Yep. That's actually true. Well placed shot. And... Humans are... Fairly fragile. But also really resilient. Oddly so at times. Uh, question is, where do we find the codes? Is it in one of these? Nothing of interest. Oh, the soup. The soup. Nothing of interest. Solids detected. Solids detected. Hmm. The deceased is on the ship's crew list. I've checked. I don't know why, though. Okay. Might have... Might have received the pass that I can use, maybe. Let's check. It's a good thing you only need a pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. True. Apparently, your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the corps' activity. I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him. All the equipment was destroyed, and someone took all the data blocks. Conveniently so, of course. <sighs> Someone's been looking for something here. I wonder what it was. We are going to have to continue wondering what that might be in the next episode. Because...
this episode is long enough or reached the, the designated time that I arbitrarily set for myself which is 30 minutes so all that I ask of you now is that you like the video and maybe even subscribe but that's to you as well as liking of course but anyway you know what to do and you know what you want to do so do whatever that might be but anyway all that i hope as i said is that you like the video and maybe you subscribe but um we are going to continue exploring next time so for now thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one